All right, well, here we are at the second half of the show, and we now have Chris McNeil, who is a master mixologist, and we just learned he's also a sommelier. Yes. And uh, he's going to prepare a couple of fabulous cocktails for us here this afternoon, made with iceberg vodka. And with very little calories. I like that. <laughs> Hence the skinny iceberg cal uh, cocktail. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. Chris? You are correct. You can drink them all day. <laughs> All day, <laughs> seriously. Well, well, first of all, welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. So we just did a whole show on living a healthy lifestyle uh, based on genetics, and we found out that uh, there's a lot of wonderful things that we should be having and that we're still allowed to have, which includes some wonderful little bit of cocktails and oh. a glass of wine. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we have here? Uh, we're using iceberg vodka today. Mm -hmm. uh, the purest vodka on the planet today. It's uh, harvested icebergs off the coast of Newfoundland. Wow. Smooth, great in a cocktail. Is that part of your job to go and harvest the uh, yeah. glaciers? <laughs> not, not yet, not yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Not yet, you know? It might be a good vacation though. Yes. Uh, so I love, I love to use iceberg in most of my vodka cocktails I do. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a flavor that just lets you work with other flavors. Okay. You can make them, um, like today we're going to do some with lemon and pomegranate, all the, I guess you want to call it the, the in health kick these days. Mm -hmm. So you know people definitely think it's much healthier when they're putting those uh, lemons and pomegranates into their drinks which technically it is. It's not right. the heavy sugary yes. slushy drinks that you used to drink in the past. Yeah you didn't put right. any, any yeah. you're not going to be putting any sugar in any of these No artificial flavors whatsoever. Awesome. So we tell all the cocktails I make these days we hold out any artificial flavors whatsoever. Uh, so the old days of your pina coladas with the sugar added to it. 800 calories Those later. I love mojitos, but that's a lot of yeah. sugar into oh, them. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. So these mm. are, you mm -hmm. know, you can start with one and then shift over some iceberg vodka cocktails. Ah. So tell us a little bit about iceberg. Uh, what is it made from? Is it made from corn? Uh, it's or a sweet corn. Sweet corn. Uh, it's okay. still three times through sweet corn. Yeah. Uh, grown in the, Canada or where is yeah, it? And grown? then it's done, yeah, and it's done right through the, uh, the iceberg process. So it's, the icebergs are harvested so How you're do you talking, harvest you're talking. an iceberg? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> there, what's the technique? Very carefully. Very carefully. Very carefully. Yeah, carefully. remember the Titanic? Maybe your next show will bring you out there. Yeah. Yeah. You should that, do a, there's an adventure for the wine yeah. lady. Yeah. 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 You should do a like remote the from the icebergs. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. A remote from the icebergs. Uh, now, how skinny are these cocktails, actually? They, you're going to run in about the 100 calorie range, uh, give or take a oh. couple of calories. So okay. You know, you're definitely better than a bottle of beer, even a light beer. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's about a bottle, about a five, six ounce glass. Exactly. Of wine. It's a good six mm -hmm. ounce glass of wine kind right? of thing. So, you know, for those of you who want to start with a couple of glasses of wine and then switch to vodka or vice versa, it's a great way to uh, kick off the patio season. So these are some summer cocktails that you've come these up with. Is this yeah. your creation, by these the are, way? These are very fresh. Uh, the lemon one, very popular. Uh, Ladies love it particularly because mm -hmm. uh, it's just got that lemon flavor. We're topping with a little bit of uh, sparkling wine or cava on top of that. Okay. Give a little bubble, a little effervescent to it. It just works really, really well. I love them in the blue glasses too. They look so refreshing. Oh. <laughs> they Truly. do. So this is the Purity Lemon Cocktail. Purity Lemon Cocktail so. with sparkling wine on top. And you made it a little bit earlier, so maybe we can uh, roll when you were at work here and you can tell Sounds us what, what you were up to. Sounds good. And we maybe we could enjoy them while we're listening too. I oh, think I that'd like be that idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we pass these on to okay. you? Okay. Thank you. Good. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. All right, let's see if we can roll that, um, that segment at, while you were preparing the Purity Lemon uh, Cocktail. Mm. And we'll see what mm. that, Ooh, that mm. smells is yummy. like. Okay. All right, so here, here you are, so, Chris. Yeah, initially we're just going to chill that martini glass for you. So you'll see so we put some ice in the martini glasses. That's mm -hmm. the key to... Uh, Get that nice crisp feel without putting your ice cubes into the glass. Okay. You know, and leaving it in your cocktail. It just chills the outside of your glass. It's if you don't have a lot of freezer space, that kind of thing for a chilled martini glass. Okay. So then I'm kind of talking faster than I'm making at the moment. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna put some fresh lemon in there. Mm -hmm. I prefer more lemon the better. Uh, okay. you don't have to worry about getting the seeds in there, you are gonna strain it, so you're okay. not gonna choke in the seeds afterwards. Yeah, one good hearty lemon in there, and we're you got to remember we're making this for two at the moment. Okay. So we're doubling the uh, doubling the amount in this glass. So All how right. much uh, vodka do you are you going to be putting into uh, this? I'm going to tell the regular customer an ounce and a half myself, probably three. You know, oh. you just need a good <laughs> cocktail, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I want to go to where you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making the way I drink them. You know? 
Now, All iceberg right. vodka, is that available throughout it's avail Canada or it is, um, it where is, is available? available? Um, this, this it is available. You'll find it on your local LCBO shelves, everything like that. Iceberg Ooh. is definitely the bang for your buck, the best valued vodka on mm -hmm. the market. I'll put it up against anything in the $40 range as well and on a lot of some of your well-known brands. Price for a, a I believe it's in about $24 okay, range right reasonable. now, for, okay. which is for yep. a bottle of vodka, very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So we just shook that all up. So is vodka still really, really popular? Vodka's getting a lot more popular now when you're, you're getting away from the vodka sodas, vodka tonics, things like that. Okay. People are experimenting more. Vodka is able to adapt to other flavors. Yeah. So it's great um, as far as letting a mixologist play with flavors and how they react and things. Mm -hmm. What do you think of those vodkas that have flavors added to them? Are you uh, a, uh, a fan of that or do you prefer, are you more I purist? prefer a purist, but there is a few good flavors out there, uh -huh. which is great, uh, as long as they spend time to develop them. You're gonna get a lot of flavors that aren't gonna work, but yeah. it, it is also a marketing craze as I'm having trouble opening the, uh, the sparkling yeah, at the moment. What's happening with the cabin you there? champagne yeah. open. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were making me very nervous, so I was, you know. Yeah. I bet you those pre-mixed drinks probably are a little heavier in the calories as well. But the average palate likes a little more sweetness, the, I would The think. ones that are full bottles yeah. that you're going to buy off the shelf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, those ones you're, you're pouring a lot more. Here you're controlling how much you're putting in. Yeah. Um, the pre-mix, of course, you're just going to take it. A little bit of sparkling. Yeah. And pour it into a glass with ice and mm -hmm. go from there. Right, you know. right. Very yeah. elegant looking drink as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's clean. It's yeah. It's just a great greater. We should have a couple around the pool this mm -hmm. this weekend. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. It's not a bad. You coming over again? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I guess. Just so. kidding. <laughs> and you're gonna add a little bit of garnish there. Yeah. All we'll right. Just a little throw bit extra of lemon. lemon on there. Excellent. That's beautiful. All right. So before good. we uh, go into the next drink, let's mm -hmm. give these a give these a try. I'm, I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> oh, it's already lipstick it's on that glass. I know, it's delicious. <laughs> it's, wow. it's so fresh. It really, really is. It's really delicious. Very nice. I was worried that it was going to be like too, a, too acidic yeah. with all that yeah. lemon. It's and got a little tire, anything, little acidity. It's well, perfect. I'm, a, I'm a big lover of Sauvignon Blanc, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. So, this so you're going to get that lemongrass kind of flavor to it. This is the kind of drink yeah. that I would enjoy, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. cheers. Yeah, Excellent. I like that. Delicious. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's a winning one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too difficult to make either. Very simple. Very right. simple. So, so what else have you got there? Then we switched over to pomegranate, which, like you know, for the last few years has been that health kick. It's kind of where mm -hmm. coconut water is going these days, which I'm sure we'll start playing with vodka and coconut water soon enough. Yeah. Uh, problem is I don't like the flavor of coconut water, so, uh, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we'll maybe see not. what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, no, so pomegranate. These, back in the day, or even five, six years ago, you couldn't. It wasn't readily available to buy pomegranate juices and things. There was yeah. one distributor, so you weren't seeing much of it out there. It was mm -hmm. uh, way too expensive to make, as well as far as selling it and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's much more accessible. Every grocery store, every corner store carries mm -hmm. some version of pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. Every market, especially in Toronto, we've got pomegranates available left and right. So it makes it much more accessible. It's not going to be like your normal strawberry daiquiris, sugary, Is thick. Is it kind of right. sweet? I haven't really had it's, pomegranate. It's got some sweetness to it, before. but it's also got some acidity at the mm -hmm. back of it, okay. so it'll be really nice. Uh, yep. So this yeah. is going to be the pomegranate and ice it vodka is. that you're going it to is. be making for us now. It is, it is. So let's, uh, let's have a look at that one. And there he is, hard at work. The pomegranate just, is such a pretty fruit, too. The color is it's brilliant. It's a very pretty fruit. Yes. Get your fingers extremely dirty, though. Uh, oh, does it? Oh. <laughs> so, Stain, hence why I'm using the it? knife yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can go, you can buy in the markets these days just the seeds, you know, things like that. Yes. From, yeah. from any of the local markets. So, yeah. are these uh, recipes available on the Iceberg yeah. um, website? Yeah, exactly. You can go on the Iceberg mm -hmm. uh, website okay. and go through a, a whole lot of different recipes like this. We'll yeah. also put them on the wineladies.com yeah, um, when we put when we post the video as well. So people would like to make these drinks and maybe as well some of the other two that we won't be able to try no, this excellent. afternoon. Mm -hmm. The uh, Icy Cosmo and the Berry Iceberg Slushy. We missed out <laughs> on that one today. <laughs> it's so. okay. We'll get the recipes. We'll try them mm -hmm. at the poolside since I know you're coming over now. <laughs> <laughs> So what, do, what are you doing here We now? just put the pot, we added some pomegranate juice with the vodka, a little fresh lime just to that little mm -hmm. acidity touch to it. 
Now, is this one going to be equally, like, equal in sort of sweetness, or is it going to be a touch sweeter a because of the uh, juice? A touch sweeter, but you're going, it's going to be a smooth sweet, if I guess, if you want to yeah. put that in the same sentence. Okay. Um, yeah. It's going to be, I guess, a, a souped up cosmopolitan from uh -huh, a cranberry uh -huh. cosmo. You're using okay. the pomegranate, a little bit, using lime like you do in a cosmo, things like that. And then some blackberries, great for color. You can also put them on a stick if you want. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't choke on them. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now, I love the bottle, but I understand that um, you, Iceberg is actually going to be changing Iceberg's the Iceberg's in the process of going of, through the, the uh, it's going to come up with a much sleeker looking bottle, uh, much sexier, I guess, if you want a uh -huh. smart yet provocative kind of look to it. Um, so it'll be, you know, a much more attractive. And that's going to be the end of the summer, sometime yeah. in the summer. Yep. Okay. Yep. So okay. the look for the Iceberg name, but not necessarily the blue exactly. it'll and be, silver you'll bottle Yeah, you'll right still now. be... Similar, but you, you'll see some definitely tweaks to the product. Uh -huh. yep. So I how guess, long have you been a mixologist anyways? Um, probably, I was going to say, since I was 16, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> physically doing a lot of cocktails probably the last eight, nine years uh, heavily. So from sort of all over the world doing cocktail lists and wine lists and uh, from high-end nightclubs to resorts to hotels to private restaurants, everything like that. So you do a lot of traveling. I used to do more than I do now. Yeah. Well, oh, now I get as far as Blur Street these days. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah. give it a try. Yeah. All right. I like the fact Thank that you, you put some blackberries in there as well. Love there blackberries. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> I feel like we're drinking alone. Uh, you didn't drink alone. I was doing shots earlier. You know. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that does have a little bit of a more mm -hmm. sweetness to it. Yeah, that's very nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the flavor of pomegranates that much, actually. I'm well, just realizing. There you go. Because mm. this is quite a quite a bit I of a foreign it, have, yeah. kind of taste, yeah. isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's really good. I like that. Very very nice. Two totally different, completely kinds different demographics. Of drinks. You have those two by your pool. You're pretty much going to hit. Anybody that comes to your pool. Okay. You know, so the, demographics. The pomegranate yeah, the drink. pomegranate and the lemon. You're you're gonna hit every sort of. What palette. is the most popular martini now? Is it still probably the, Cosmo? the cosmopolitan? Sex in the city didn't do any bartenders any favors. You know. Oh. Uh, it's still probably the the most popular vodka cocktail. Out I there. just watched that movie yeah. Sex, Sex in the City twice uh, two again last See? night. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just can't get enough of that. I, I don't know. So you can't get the words out. Yeah. It's because well, you've had two cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But no, it definitely is probably still the, still, eh? the wow. staple vodka cocktail, but you're seeing a lot. And you also have a out. cool little uh, promotion uh, yep, starting Yeah, Icebergs coming out with uh, packets or bottle tags, mm -hmm. however you want to call them, as add-ons to the uh, bottles. They're going to be easy mix uh, from Cosmos to Apple Martinis. Okay. You're going to mix with water. All the ingredients or all the instructions are right there. Yeah, so just add vodka. Quick. Exactly. How many servings? One or two per package? Um, I believe those ones have two per package. Okay. Yeah. Nobody likes to drink alone. You're yeah. being so alcoholic in that point. So in other words, we you know? wouldn't need you, Chris, to help us make these drinks. Is that what you're saying? You are correct. We'd be on our own. It'd just be more entertaining if I made them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in a, in a in a pinch. In a pinch. When you can't make it. Exactly. You know, here's an alternative, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. What all that, right. That well, we've great. got our Thank drinks you. all lined up here. We're all set for the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, Thank I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for coming no problem, in my and uh, sharing that Great. with us. Fantastic. And uh, got to learn a little bit more about Iceberg Vodka. I Excellent. know we've seen it on the shelves in the past couple of years. No, it's definitely a product everybody should grab. It's, uh, it's definitely something that should be in your fridge. All right. Oh. Well, next holiday, we'll definitely pick it up. Perfect. Thanks again. No problem, Lisa. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on The Wine Ladies. Uh, one sip at a time. Another, Cheers. In other words, four sips at a time this afternoon. <laughs> All at the same time? There you go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.